right, so I got a question from a viewer. The question basically is, how many running watts generator do I need for my compressor? And I had to think about it for a second. Generator, generator. He missed a portable gas unit generator. He was outside, he was on the job site where you don't have electricity. Okay, now this is going to be an interesting question. He was looking at my video, 110 volts times 15 amps equals 1,650 watts. And he said, that's running watts, right? With a question mark. And I had to write him back, no, that's peak watts. Because now we're thinking along two different lines. We're thinking about along household current amps, and we're thinking about watts for generator or even appliances have watts rating on the back of it hence the video years ago was actually for appliances where they list watts they don't list amps and you're running a 15 amp breaker if you're running a toaster oven a microwave and the refrigerator has a hard start on the compressor you could trip the breaker you could exceed the maximum wattage using this formula or maximum amperage in the household we tend to use amperage we don't use watts very much so that's why I put that video up years ago and I still use it today. Been using it for over 20 years. Okay, um, now this question made me think a little bit because I'm not used to thinking in this format. So now he, that he understood that 1650 watts is not running watts, it's actually peak watts or peak amps if you translate, translate the formula. Okay. I had to answer this other question. How many watt generator do I need for my compressor? Or what size generator do I need? Then I wrote him back, I use 15 amps as an example. Most power tools are in amperage. And most power tools you, use, you might use on a campsite, I mean a work site, excuse me, or campsite, whatever it is, um, RV. You should don't use more than 15 amps. This is power tools. This is not AC on an RV, stuff like that. You would need much higher. Okay? Uh, double or triple. Uh, the numbers I'm going to give you now. Okay? But use the formula. If you use the formula, you will figure it out. Just take a little bit of patience. Okay? Um, I use the number 15 amps. A lot of circular saws, table saws, Compressors usually don't go more than 15 amps. I've seen a few, but usually they don't. So hence I used the number 15 amps as his compressor, which he didn't state that. That's what I came up with. So if you have a 1600 watt, 1650 watt uh, tool maximum load, you want to use a generator that has a little bit more say up to 20% or so if you can get it not all generators ratings are exact okay maybe some of the good ones are there or a little bit better um, but not all of them exact so hence I wrote back use a 2000 watts running generator and if it's a 2500 peak watts that's fine that's for something else a hard start on a compressor or power tool or something like that and I think he kind of is going to get the answer he wanted okay he knows exactly what to buy and that uh, my formula was not running watts it's actually peak watts and peak watts and running watts is a generator term it is not a household term we use amps in a household but I had to make that formula because people are running appliances in their house like a uh, 1800 watt hair dryer and they'd be on the 15 amp circuit and they blow the breaker and they like I've had people tell me oh change the breaker out to the 20 amp breaker uh -huh, can't do that wiring doesn't support it that's in the video okay the link I'm gonna put below to the original video I put up use that 80 percent that's a good number of your maximum amperage or wattage you're using for a generator amperage in the house to be on the safe side. In fact, the location I work now, 
they have a hundred amp service indoors sub panel and outdoors they have 240 watt breakers and I was asked uh, by uh, insurance adjuster a couple years back so how come they don't match how come it's not 100 amps outside I said it doesn't work that way it works by load I said, what do you mean by load you, nobody uses the entire 100 amp in a sub panel all the time they be tripping breakers left and right 80% is what they use for the most part and that's why it's that way so that they don't cause a fire burn something out try to use a hundred amp inside okay is that way for safety reasons and we almost never trip outside uh, breakers because most people don't even go that high so 80% is a good number to remember okay amps indoors watts generator um, converting the appliances hair dryer stuff like that to so you understand how many ish amps you can actually use or why you tripping a breaker that's what it's originally for running watts is generators running can run continuously 15 amps peak is for hot start that's it I think I answered the question hopefully I didn't miss anything any questions you guys ask um, I don't use generators almost at all I'm very lucky to be able to use extent extension cords uh, generators are for contractors people that need them as backup RVs and they're good there's also DC inverter generators where they're more streamlined the uh, signal AC current where they are said to be better for computers and electronics stuff like that the regular ones are not hence they're cheaper they don't have it inverted inside okay and there's some there's some that are quieter also but there's a lot to talk about look at learn about generators most people buy the cheapest one they can get but add that 20 percent on your know, peak amperage or wattage just use the formula think it out it'll come to you you'll get it i'll see you guys in the next one bye